Okay, so when I derive this first question, derivation of 4x squared is 8x. The derivation of 3xy, xy are two different functions, so I have to use product rule over here. I'm going to do that on the side. I'm going to make f equal to 3x. And I'm going to make g equal to y. So f prime is 3 and g prime is just uh, 1 times y prime, which is just y prime. And then I'm going to sub in f prime g plus g prime f when I do the derivation over here. So f prime g is 3y and g prime f is y prime times 3x. So that's 3xy prime. And then the derivation of 9y square is 18y times y prime. Okay, next I'm going to make sure that the y primes stay on this side. I'm going to move these two terms to the other side. So I have 3x y prime plus 18y y prime equals to negative 8x minus 3y. Then I'm going to factor out y prime over here. So y prime 3x plus 18y equals to negative 8x minus 3y and then I'm just going to divide this on this side so I have y prime equals to negative 8x minus 3y divided by 3x plus 18y and that is my final solution. Okay same thing in this question um, we're going to drive this whole function so the derivation of 5 is just 0 the derivation of 3e to the power of xy now when I'm deriving an E function, the derivation of an E function is the exact same thing. So I'm going to write the exact same thing, 3E XY, and then it's multiplied by the derivation of the top. But what you notice about the top here is that you need the product rule for this part of the question. So again, I'm going to do that on the side. F is equal to X, basically the first part, and G is equal to Y f prime equals to 1, g prime equals to 1 times y prime which is just y prime and then I can sub that back into f prime g plus g prime f in this bracket over here so f prime is 1 times g is y so that's just y plus g prime is y prime and f is x so x y prime f prime g plus g prime f equals the derivation of x square is 2x and the derivation of 2y is 2 times y prime. I'm going to simplify by expanding this bracket first because I need to get all the y primes on one side. So if I expand this bracket, I just have 3y e to the xy plus 3xy prime e to the xy equals to 2x plus 2y prime. Now I need to move all the y prime terms to one side and all the other terms to the other side. So I'm going to move this term to this side and this y prime term to this side. So 3x y prime e to the xy minus 2y prime equals 2x minus 3y e to the xy. I'm going to factor out y prime common here. 3x e to the xy minus 2. Same thing on this side. And then finally I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide it on the other side. So y prime equals 2x minus 3y e to the xy over 3x e to the xy minus 2. And that's my final solution.